Here we go. Back. Another reaction. Do you guys know I play college basketball? Oh shit. Oh, oh that's um Bulldogs? What is that? It's the Bulldogs from, the from the You guys know the team. Really good at basketball. I played on the team. We just lost in the championship. The NCAA. Alabama, you know this? Um Let's roll the video. Do all influencers think the same? Because we are influencers. There'd be some people out there that would consider us influencers. Correct. We're influencers by default, but we would never label ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Off rip, I don't recognize these people. What's considered an influencer? What's the number of followers you need to have to be an influencer? That's a good question. I feel like it needs to be a lot low key. Any attractive girl could amass 10K plus. Do you have to be big on everything? I'm a Snapchat influencer. I'm a Snap. I'm a Twitter influencer. We need a definition of what makes you an influencer. Jubilee type B? Jubilee type B. Yeah, look. Hey. Do all influencers think the same? Likes and models are important to me. It's a bit of a validation thing that you're doing something right. If we create something and no one likes it, then we're like, well, we're not gonna create that again. Okay, my guy Terrell, 343K subs and 154 on Instagram. Is that an influencer? That's enough to influence some people. Okay. He, yeah, he makes it. But for me, I interpreted the question as like, do I take it personally still? 944, seven, okay. Oh, see, okay, she's, okay. I mean, I think it definitely matters in terms of, you know, when you're trying to negotiate brand deals, but. <laughs> Well, she didn't say what brand deal, what kind of brand deal. Stop. Okay, okay. So, all this, like, someone needs to stop me before I say something. No, but here's the thing 21K followers, like, it's not a lot. I'm sorry. Like, nowadays, <laughs> it's not a lot. And she only got Instagram. Maybe in, tw in 2014, that was a lot. No. Nope. I feel like you can still be an influencer at like 15K. Who are you influencing? Whatever your niche is, like, if you're like a hairstylist, you have 15K. I'm pretty sure there will be people that are reaching out to, like, yo, can you post this for? I feel like I would be more inclined to pay attention to this if these people were clouded up. Yeah. Because I'm like, like, okay, they know a lot. They're an influencer, but like a micro influencer. If you make 10 right. meals, are you a chef? No. For the show's sake, it would be better off to get people that are actually huge and, and have been through it and can really answer these influencer questions rather than, I think, Tiffany with 21K. Not to hate on her, but like... And did she really just bring up brand deals? I mean, I think it definitely matters in terms of, you know, when you're trying to negotiate brand deals. I don't think we got our first brand deal offer until 400K That's on YouTube. That's what I'm YouTube. saying. Like... And even then, we didn't even get that many. Like, I don't want to shit on Tiffany. They heard that question and thought they needed to be like the, oh, I don't care about that. I'm the creator that doesn't care about followers or likes. And they all wanted to play that character. But in reality, it does matter and it's okay to I fully agree with that. Correct. You didn't become an influencer without the followers or the likes. So now that you have them, it doesn't matter. Does that make sense? Or don't have them. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Tiffany, I'm sorry. Wait, oh, boo hoo. When was this film though? She Ooh. might be clouded up now. You never know. Nope. I also feel that the relationships that we do build with our followers is important. And is this satire? What relationships? 21,000 followers doesn't mean 21,000 21, likes. Yeah, or 21,000 active followers. Exactly. You can buy followers. I just saw today some people buying views on our music video. I was like, okay, I'm going to try not to be a bully here. Just because she doesn't have a lot of followers doesn't mean that they No, but this is, do all influencers think the same? If I buzz your head off, am I a barber? Do all barbers think the same? I cut one head before. It's hard to manage all of that when she has a, a million and she has 20K. So they're obviously going to think not the same. I think she's capping. I think she's just trying to fit in on the thing. I feel like a lot of I feel like at first, yes. I feel pressured to be really good. Kind of like, perfect. But it's also like, well I feel made. like we're pushing our brands. I'm not trying to be that perfect person. Like there's people that do have to keep up with this perfect. Oh, true. You know, like we yeah, don't, you're right. we're not pushing that as that's who we are. So we don't really think that way. But there are people I think out there that do put up an image that then they feel pressure that now they have to do that. Where they do no wrong and no cussing and no, uh, and everything's perfect fairy tale, and I'm mm. here to offend nobody. I do feel pressured though to act a little bit more, I guess, polished. Mm -hmm. term. Yeah, I think. But I feel like that would be anybody that's just anybody. putting on yourself on social media. Everyone's gonna put their best picture up. Everyone's gonna, mm -hmm. you know, like that's just how it is. This is not how we would normally like hang out. Like we would be sitting on the couch or something. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah. We're, we're kind of packaging it, but still being ourselves, but still Correct. have to put up this character or image. And still trying to make it good, fun for our viewer to watch. You also have to understand that yeah. it, this is. 
for them. So I guess you can't really, no one is really 100% truly themselves, but there's people that are closer to that than others. But we're, yeah, we're not trying to be perfect by any yeah. means. Even like when it comes to like my body, I'm like in the gym, I'm trying to- like... <laughs> Wait, let me see. What did I say, Ra? Wait a minute. 13,000 followers on Instagram? Yeah, I could finish the video. 5,000 on YouTube? Okay, but look at at that point, like, I wouldn't even... So anybody that has a YouTube account at this point is an influencer, is what you're telling me. If I had the numbers that she had, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. Jubilee hit me up to be in an influencer video, I'd be like, oh, no, 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 I'm not an influencer. I wouldn't be like, yep, that's what I am, you know, I'll go. She believes she is. 5.7K subscribers. Look, I'm not trying to crap on people who don't have subscribers. That's not what this is about. But if this is, do all doctors think the same and I'm talking to somebody with a what's that thing that the little buzzy thing yeah the, operation yeah, yeah. or some shit the mr. potato head shot game I played that once it's not the same level no as other doctors <laughs> but I still have to get the bread basket out with the tweezers you know what I'm saying I have the doctor's Halloween costume too so <laughs> from spirit so I, I got the stethoscope right over there well, I'm a doctor now that's a good way to put it because people will see five thousand followers and be like there's no way I can ever get five thousand people to follow me you know what I mean mm -hmm. she is an influencer she's micro <laughs> Is it because we have a lot more than that? It's harder for us to, because I feel like even brands would be like, oh, that's enough to get my- Would they? I don't know though, I don't know. We have a hard time getting a, a lot of deals and we have millions upon millions. Mm -hmm. But Ooh. then again, the, the deals that they're doing are probably- Free. Deodorant. $50. Off the end. Like her local mall was like, oh, you could shout us out on your video. That'll maybe bring in 10 more people. We started our channel on some yeah. 5K. I like, wouldn't call myself an influencer when I had that. <laughs> Look, Mila, I'm just trying to keep it one usher buck with you. I am striving to be like, better and it, and it is pressure it is she's feeling that much pressure at 15k followers then don't keep doing it then because wait till you get 100k wait till you get a you million feel that pressure from your 5.7k youtube subscribers then this might not oh, be this thing might not be it. i think just being a creator in general you have to really own up to who you are as a person when you turn off your phone you know right away like how you feel like you feel drained or you feel good about your work. You know, watched him before. He like interviews artists. He you know? seems funny. Yeah. You feel like yeah. you are a separate entity to what you put out? No. Like, you don't? Mm -hmm. No. You can turn That's that camera on at three o'clock in the morning. You can get the same Terrell, I swear to God. When I say something, it's from my heart. It's what I meant. I said what I said. And if you don't <laughs> like it, I mean, that's you. The humor of gay black men is unmatched. I consider myself Oh, hoo -hoo. here we go. Oh, please. I know who needs to walk which direction. Okay, <laughs> yeah, I respect Mila. Okay. Okay. I guess for me, it's like I've been doing this since I was 16 years old and I'm 24 now, so. You ain't hit a mil yet? I'm sorry. <laughs> I somewhat disagree just because I think it holds too much of a standard and I think saying you're this puts me in a box. Oh girl, you need to be over the air. Move to the left. Move there. I would just say like, I'm someone who has many different talents that I love to do many different things. If I happen to influence someone, that's perfect, but it's not what I'm setting out to do because yeah. I'm human just like everyone else. Now that I'm thinking about it, anybody could be an influencer, right? Everyone's like, an influencer. I could be influenced by my friend that doesn't have any followers, but he posted a cool outfit and I'm like, oh, I'm influenced, I wanna look like that. What would make me more of an influencer than him? Because my intention isn't to influence somebody to do something. Correct. I'm just doing whatever I wanna do. So do I have to like put intent into my post to be considered an influencer? By us even posting this video, influence people to make a YouTube channel or to be like us unintentionally, but we don't do anything do with the intent of I yeah. want this to unless like, it's a targeted thing like we want to spread this message, right. which yeah. we have done before. Yeah, I yeah. Think. yeah like we do that so sometimes. Where we have to, like, you should be doing this or thinking about it like this. Yeah, is yeah, that right? like, an influencer? Because they got followers. But they're an influencer in a different way. Where if like a kid's in the stands, like oh I want to be like this, they're not a social media influencer, but still an. That's influencer. like, but like he said, they never gave us a definition of. Yeah, like what is what an is influencer? clearly anybody. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, you come on, we're gonna influence. How much money you got? None. Okay, go on. Right. I think what happened was all the famous people didn't get back to them, so they were like, let me hit up the girl with their teeth. Yeah. It's okay to Photoshop images. Live your life. <laughs> Live your best life. Is it okay 
Yes! They should have been more clear. And is Photoshop mean like, does a filter count as Photoshop now? Removing something from the background or Photoshopping Taking your body? Taking away acne? Dribbly. Face, jaw, lift. Is it? Yeah. I think what they- abs and tattoos and muscles? What they meant to say is like Photoshopping your body to make it yeah. seem something else and, and then you influence in that look rather than- I think it's okay. Anyone is absolutely allowed to do whatever the hell they want. You can post pictures of poop that you drop. In terms of self-esteem, it could be damaging to yourself if you constantly are editing pictures of your face. It's just, just, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. I see people sure. with the look like a they seen the Holy Ghost where it's all faded out, over edited. Oh, it's yeah. like, what are you doing? Yeah. Now? I, mean, I know girls that have like three different apps just to edit one photo. Yeah. Like I don't think that's good. Like when you're doing more of the like your self image and like distorting that. I Photoshop a lot of mine, but in a different way where it's like sure. trying to be funny or like adding something to the photo. When like they said, it's that's perfectly okay. I've Y'all ever seen a guy who looked better on Instagram than in person? And you were like, damn. Mm. I, but I think I've seen a lot of girls Yeah, where, it's not as common. Yeah, no. yeah. There's a lot of girls that feel the pressure to Photoshop it at a perfect angle. And then you see them in person, it's like, you catfish me. But I mean, I've definitely used Facetune a couple of times, so. I think that's why I also disagree with it because it's like my own psyche saying, you know, you shouldn't do this, you should just be yourself. I use Facetune, not Photoshop. <laughs> I only promote products and brands I believe in. I knew this question was gonna be here. I knew it. When I first started out, I'm gonna be honest, it was so cool just to get free things. I think Come I you. agree with like, you. Like, now I feel like I'm lucky that I have a bigger audience that I can really focus in on what they deserve to see and what I want to share. I'll always try it out. And if I don't like it, I'm not gonna post at all. I didn't come from getting emailed all the time. I moved here, started going to events. I like worked my ass off to like meet the brands that I actually like. I think people are scared to just like say keep, how it is. Keep it a buck. It's okay for a, a big company or any sort of brand to reach out to a platform with followers to promote their product. You're not seeing radio shows have to be so enthusiastic about the ad placements they have to do in their thing. They paid for that to be into that show so people can watch it. I don't think it always has to be tied in with the creator. I'm really passionate about it, whatever. As time's moved on, we've just done less brand deals just because personal preference. I don't wanna be the robotic commercial person, mm -hmm. but I only work with people that I really believe in. But even if it's robotic, don't care about it. Like it doesn't matter even if it was well done. You don't really have to care about no. the brand. They paid you to promote their thing. You can do a really good integration into your video and it's all good and good. This I didn't want to work for other people's dreams anymore. Like the nine to five, working for other people, like I want to work for myself. Yeah. And I think Instagram is just one aspect of it. Mm -hmm. Like there's so many other parts to this industry and you really get to create what you want and totally. be a creative person. You making a living off of 5K subscribers? If you want it to be a dream job, you better work hard. <laughs> I would say this is my dream job. I wouldn't want to do anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We also fell into this dream job, which is even better. Mm -hmm. But then again, I would consider more of us to be YouTubers, you know, and that's like our job. But like, is it influencers, YouTubers, or is YouTubers and influencers? Like, is it all under the same umbrella? A YouTuber, I guess, is an influencer. That's what yeah. say, yeah. But you can be an influencer without being a YouTuber. Yeah. Vice versa? No, you, you'd, you would be influencing somebody. Yeah. If you're a YouTuber, you're an influencer. But you could also be an influencer without being a YouTuber. A square is a rectangle, but a rectangle isn't a square. It's <laughs> like my dream job wouldn't be to be an influencer without being a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. You know, like yeah. I, and I don't know what would it, that would be like. I don't know. We're promoting like brand a model or something. Probably model or something. Model or something. But I don't know. Mm. Like college basketball, you know. College basketball. That was one of my dreams. I did play basketball once, so you can be in the basketball episode. I was in a two hype video. All in all, I'm happy to be an influencer. And um, is this cool that there are videos like this? Because I feel like this. Thing Day and age this is the new like job to have like a lot of people are influencers and everybody wants to be this yeah mm -hmm. everyone wants to be it so